One of the issues with the falcon wing doors, at least in my garage, is that when the garage door is closed, the falcon wing doors extend above the door's track. So if you out of habit happen to open the garage door after opening the falcon wing doors, you will have a bad day. Sure, the force limit sensor on the door, if set properly, is supposed to stop the door after impact, but not before leaving a nasty mark. At first I thought to add additional normal garage door sensors, but they only stop the garage door while the door is closing. Our concern is with the garage door opening. To work around this issue, I ordered two pieces of equipment, a reflective sensor and an AC outlet relay that could cut the power to the garage door. I mounted the reflective sensor on the wall above normal walking height but below the garage door track and wired it up to the AC relay. Now, as soon as either falcon wing door is raised, the sensor beam is triggered and power to the garage door is cut, causing the garage door to stop immediately. As soon as the falcon wing door is lowered, the garage door can be activated again. One drawback with this simple solution is that if, after you get home, you start closing the garage door and then open the falcon wing door, the power to the garage door will be cut, even though the falcon wing door is in no danger. As soon as the falcon wing door is closed, you can continue to close the garage. A small price to pay for peace of mind.